Hi guys! Uh, we are currently in Prague and this is uh, my hotel room. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of after dark now, so the light is really crappy. I'm sorry for that. The quality of this video is not super great, but I think that it will do. I took some nice footage of the stuff that we're gonna test today uh, in the remnant of the daylight that was outside by the window. So hopefully that's gonna help you understand what we're doing here. Uh, anyway, let me get to the point. Today we are trying amazing dairy products, by which I mean mostly yogurts and uh, creamy yogurty things with interesting flavors because I'm not sure if you've ever been to Europe, especially Central Europe, so like, you know, Poland, Germany, that whole like ex-Austro-Hungarian empire, we really like our yogurt and it definitely counts as a snack. Like in Britain, yogurt is more like a breakfast food, but here you eat it like in an afternoon, afternoon snack and they tend to be sweet and they tend to have so many good flavors and I really miss it in, in Britain. So we're gonna do that. We don't have any spoons here in my hotel room, so what we figured out, we're gonna use some of the lids as kind of like impromptu spoons. We're gonna do a little bit of origami action and we're gonna do that. Um, there's two specific yogurts uh, from Tot that, first of all, they have amazing looking flavors, but they also have a good looking lid. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. So I'm gonna try everything first because I have been in less contact with sick people and uh, our uh, our dad unfortunately has quite um quite a high temperature right now and still went out for work. Anyway, oh shit, I didn't properly show you. This is the Tzot Yoga Bella limited edition. This is from like and I think it's like an American uh, American inspired and this is mandarin cheesecake. If you're from America, let me know if you actually ever do mandarin cheesecake. Oh, it smells delicious. Oh, very mandariny, but not mm. extremely cheesecakey. Mm. I think personally, this would work better in something more creamy, like a cream cheese or like a creamy quark or some sort of mascarpone cream because then it would emulate the taste of cheesecake better it's more sour than i expected yeah i think it's because this is kind of a lower fat um it's it's more on like lower fat uh, side of yogurt so i'm gonna have a look yeah this has less than three percent fat so that makes it kind of like regular yogurt type here in central europe so it's not super unhealthy, but obviously there's quite a lot of sugar in it, so also not super healthy. We also have the American apple pie. Mm. Apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie. Apple pie is one of my favorite desserts. All time. I love anything. I love. I love anything with like baked apples. Mm. I really, really do. Mm. How mm. is it? Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's bits of, there's bits of the pie crust in it, dude. Oh. Is there bits of like pie crust in the cheesecake one? I think no. Let me. I'm gonna spoon this. <gasps> in. Oh. Did you? Is there? Oh yes. my god. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. This is such a horrible, <laughs> horrible operation. <laughs> <laughs> Not even drunk. <laughs> just, just 15 years old. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. Like the crust in this is kind of like the linter, linter cookie, mm. linter tart sort of buttery cookie in it. Mm. That's so good. Not crunchy. And apples in it. Oh. Yeah, there's bits of apples oh, and no, bits no. of pie crust in this. This is like something I would think, like Japanese people would sell in their Starbucks's. Let's try something healthy now. <laughs> so this one, the previous two ones were technically German but you know that you can definitely buy them if you're visiting Prague but this one is from one of the more Czech companies and it's from a company called Olma and it's called Revital or Revital if Ooh, you know you're that way it inclined sounds super healthy healthy <laughs> yeah <Healthy>. come on <laughs> oh I'm gonna kill myself now yes okay here you go and so you can see the flavor is gooseberry and hemp seed 
Like, what the hell? This is just weird. It's a limited edition and it is... It's a bit less um, in terms of how, how much fat is in it than the previous two ones and... Um, um, it, it's still pretty sugary though, so like I would think that like it wouldn't... It's not super healthy either, but... <gasps> Okay, this is I expected. <laughs> so, one out of five would not do great again. Okay, smells kind of interesting. I'm not sure where I stand on hemp seeds. I'm not sure if I ever properly had them. I like all my yogurts. Yogurts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's weird, but like not in a bad way. It's mm. if you have any experience with gooseberries, this is a. Mm. No, I like it. It does actually taste very much like eating gooseberries. Mm. Right? Mm. <laughs> gooseberries, if you're not familiar, are really tart. For me, they're kind of in the same family of fruits as um, currants. And you might, I think that for a lot of Western people, Red currant especially is too tart to like snack on as a fruit, but in Czech Republic we do that because a lot of people have a, like a back garden and in the Czech summers the easiest thing to grow on your back garden is gooseberries and currants, black and white, black and white. Black and red, but also white, there's also white currants. Mm -hmm. I've never seen those in in the West. I think they just exist in Czech Republic. We just made them up. You don't have to trust me. Maybe, <laughs> like, if you don't believe me, that's fine. I get it. <laughs> okay, now this one is gonna be oh. the most fancy in terms of um, the, the fat content. So this one is 10%, 10% fat. And it's actually, it's not a yogurt, it is a... A, like a sour cream dessert. These are pretty popular in Czech Republic and we like this because it's uh, I think it's a limited edition maybe? Maybe not. Maybe this is a regular flavor. Anyway, the taste is like Mozartkugel. If you've ever been to Austria, it's those little balls with Mozart's face on them and it's <laughs> pistachio, marzipan and chocolate. That's I think the three flavors in a Mozart ball. So yeah, uh, and this is that flavor combined with sour cream and it's green oh, oh. <laughs> This is green and it smells it smells exactly like a Mozart bowl. Oh My god, I think that this is just <laughs> Yeah, can you see this can you you can see the greenness I think eh. Yes, yes And it kind of looks like stracciatella Yeah you... It smells like oh. marzipan. Mm. It mostly smells like marzipan, mm. I think. And mm -hmm. chocolate and pistachios a bit. Mm. It's very thick. Oh, shit. This is really good. You can put y your yogurt at m mine spoon. Oh, hey! That's... <laughs> she, oh. she found a way of not sharing oh. germs. Mm. Magic. Um mm. oh, okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh so I wholeheartedly recommend this. Mm. This does it's like it's like a re, like a marzipan stracciatella is how I would um describe this. Plus it is a sour cream, so it's a bit tart. Yeah. So like to me this tastes a lot more like a type of cheesecake than the cheesecake yogurt. Mm -hmm. You know, the cheesecake yogurt just tastes like mandarins, mostly. Now... Now we can go like a tiny bit healthy again. <laughs> so... Once again, I'm not sure if you're from the West, you might not be familiar with cork. Cork is a type of soft cheese. It, in the West, when you get it, it's usually low fat. Uh, but in Czech Republic, and I'm pretty sure in Poland and Germany and the like, uh, it's usually available in low-fat, sort of 
semi skimmed and full fat and the full fat one tends to be like a dessert thing and you can put it on fruit dumplings and you can bake with it and like the semi skimmed also and the low fat one tends to be just like when you're on a diet and your life sucks <laughs> anywho this one is a flavored one and i love these and i love getting these when i'm here it's um it's a, a like a baked pear with cinnamon which sounds like a very delightful flavor um if you don't know quark is quite high in protein uh there's ooh, that's quite a lot so like oh yeah so like this okay it's not quite a lot I lied. Cork is still quite good for protein intake. I think that this little thingy has like 10, 10 grams of protein, which is pretty good. Um, and in terms of chubs, 2.5 grams of fat. So it's pretty low fat. Anywho, let's see. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells very much like pears. Ooh. I can almost taste the, the crunchiness. But obviously it's not gonna be crunchy. I like like the flavor of this. Oh, that's the thing. Like I really like quark, but it must not mm -hmm. be a low-fat quark mm -hmm. because then it's just like I don't know. It's like snacking on cottage cheese. It's just kind of sad. Like if you if you were eating plain cottage cheese with nothing. Um. If you do that, no judgment. <laughs> but um, I just don't really enjoy that super much. So we have a last one and this one is also one of the oop. This one is also a type of a creamy yogurt and once again it's from Alma so it's a it's a Czech one and it's the Florian which um is quite a well known brand of yogurt here that's a that's a creamy yogurt. Um, it has eight percent fat per hundred grams. No that's bullshit. It has 8% fat. The grams don't matter. Yeah, so it's a creamy yogurt with the flavor of fruit punch. Mm -hmm. Which in, um, I'm not sure how it, this is in America. I'm not sure if like that just doesn't mean like fruit bowl. I don't know. For us it means alcoholic punch. Mm. Oh wow, it smells nice. Mm. And it has pink color. Yeah, <laughs> it, it is it's kind of pinky. Um, so I'm not sure if this is gonna have like a, um, a bit of like alcoholic flavor. I would like that, but it also smells quite fruity. Mm, There's a... Mm -hmm. I can smell orange in it. Mm, mm -hmm. It's like spiced orange and apples and... yeah, let's see. Nah, it's okay. It just tastes fruity. Mm. Like we had Froyo in Prague like three days ago and we tried mm. punch flavor and it actually tasted alcoholic which was to me a very pleasant surprise. If you know me you know that I very very much enjoy any sweets with alcohol flavor because I like to combine two vices into one and just, you could maybe also like grind up a cigarette in it and that would be perfect. No, don't worry, I don't smoke, but <laughs> humor. So I think that for me, yeah, yeah, I think that we both best. agree this is the best one. It's also the least healthy one, so it makes <laughs> sense. This is basically like cheesecake in a bowl. Plus we both really like marzipan, so this sort of almondy marzipan-y flavor really works for us. I did, surprisingly, mm. also enjoy this one, the gooseberry, but I think this very much plays on our nostalgia for like childhood in Czech Republic because it tastes exactly like when you're just like squishing the, the juicy inside from mm -hmm. a freshly picked gooseberry and I think that that's an experience that most of you probably don't have. Uh, yeah, it's, um, this, this was fun. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed doing something new. Uh, now we're maybe gonna... It's okay. Uh, yeah, at this point you can put as much yogurt as you want <laughs> on, on my bod. Yes, we're gonna go and find maybe some dinner after we've <laughs> digested this, so it might take some time. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining us here in our Prague hotel room. Uh, we will see you soon. <laughs>